If you're a beginner blender surfer and have a scene, something like this, and want to add water sims to it, a simple and fast yet good-looking way is to go fake. You fake it till you make it. And it goes like this. We add a mesh plane, or what previously called image as plane, and we import a footage of a beach or waves. Those can be found online for free and try to look for aerial shots, then download some at good quality. Once you add the footage, switch to material preview, hit the space bar to run the animation, and it might look flat at first, but we can fix that in the nodes, so open a shader editor on the side, and the mesh plane nodes will go like this. We can increase the roughness as a start, then we need some displacement in it, so hit Shift A to add a displacement node, connect the footage color to its height, then plug it into the material output. It looks rough now, but nothing changes. So first, hit N in the node editor to open the side panel, go to the options tab, and make the material surface on displacement and bump. And just to be clear, I am on Blender 4.2 EV, so either go with that, or you will need cycles in previous version. We also need subdivision on the plane, and try to make the cuts shape more into squares, then subdivide it one or two times, but that's not enough. You can also use a subdivision surface modifier on level 3 or 4, which might seem like a lot now, but that can be turned off in the viewport, so no worries. What remains is you controlling the displacement scale to a low value depending on the mesh plane scale. If you zoom in, it might look rough, but from a top view or a camera shot focusing downward, this is quite the realistic to add to your scene as a side element or as background water. The same method can be used to add fast flames to your scene. With fire, look for dark background footage, import it as a mesh plane like before. Connect the footage color to the principled BSDF alpha to get rid of the background, then plug the color into the emission to boost the lighting in the footage. Once you fix it, you can copy this, rescale it, and rotate it around the same center to make a nice looking fire from all sides then just threw it in your scene. That's it. If you like this, make sure to subscribe for more dope stuff, and until the next time, stay sharp. Goodbye.